All right, so in this video, what we're going to talk about is now our pump controls. And in our pump controls, we're going to go sort of fast on this one. This is going to be the motor controls. Now, um, I want to highlight a few things. A virtual axis in is virtualized, right? So it's it's not it's not a physical axis. So there's a lot of things you don't have to do on a virtual axis to get it to run, right? Meaning turn it on, turn it off, all these resets and, and different manners of stuff, of di different things you have to do. But there are a, a few things you need to do, and I'll show you this. You're going to have to have monitor two things. One is going to be the motion group that is on. So we're going to monitor the motion group, and then we're going to come in here and monitor the motion group that is synced. So let's get it up here so that it's easier to find. And we want to monitor the, the bit that's called motion group synced. Okay, it's a binary bit. The next thing we're going to monitor is the um, action, the axis uh, we're talking about, the axis status. So the axis status, this would be pump. We'll just type this in pump one. Come in here, and we want to get again highlight and get the. Uh, we want to basically get them in alphabetical order come over here and get this into the it's servo action status is what you're looking for all we're doing is verifying that it is on okay we're verifying that it is on and it is good okay that's what this is doing so and now we're going to come in and say we're going to make a bit that says pump one axis ready and this is merely saying that the axis is ready. That's all that's doing. It's saying that the axis is actually good and it is ready. So uh, with that said, uh, let's actually, um, I keep pulling the toolbar up. Sorry about that. No zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. We're gonna add another rung in here and this is where we're gonna grab a couple different things. We're gonna utilize the bit we made here, right? Now we're gonna come in and get the pump uh, request on. Remember that request on we did? So did the request on we did up here in the premix. We're gonna get this bit, right? So we're gonna call that pump request on. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna just do pump one request on. Okay, and then what we wanna do here is have I'm gonna put in a branch and then put in a timer. Now I'm gonna put in a timer because it's a small delay on just as a buffer. So we'll call this pump one uh, and then we'll call this start delay. Our start delay, delay timer. Really simple, real easy. We'll put this at like a quarter of a second so that it gets this uh, small delay in there. What we wanna do now is utilize this bit right here, come over here and use the done bit, okay? And now we're gonna get into our motion side of things. So we're gonna scroll up here to our toolbar. We're gonna to go to motion move. Again, there's a lot of stuff we don't have to do inside of using a virtual axis. We're gonna grab a jog we're going to grab a jog and then we're going to select our axes right here. Okay. This is where we select our axis. This is pump one. This is the axis we're going to select. This right here, motion control, is giving it a tag. We need to, to create a tag for this specific instruction in a MAJ. This is a motion axis jog. Okay. So this is going to be pump one. And then we'll call this MAJ. It's real simple, real easy. Direction, uh, you have either zero or one. Zero is forward and one is backwards. Um, come in here, you need to fill out all the rest of this stuff. Speed is going to be whatever speed you want it to run. In this case, we'll just say 10. We may come back and put the speed in as, uh, we may come back and edit all the speeds as we get a variable as far as the speeds we want right now. But in the sake of what we're doing right now, we're going to put in a speed of 10. Uh, speed units, we're gonna call that, this is going to be in units per second. Uh, that's just basically a, uh, 
the the way the the attributes would be the servo would work um, the acceleration rate is going to come in you can have a default acceleration or you can put in I like to put in 1000 um, the acceleration units is going to be units per second squared we're going to come in here and put the deceleration rate the same for the de de deceleration rate the profile is a trapezoid a trapezoid is basically non s curve it's going to be straight up all to the point so as as soon as that acceleration rate is done it's going to be at its speed and it's going to level out a s curve is going to slowly ramp into that so we want to s curve this being that it is a pump we want to s curve it our um, basically our acceleration jerk we want to have basically a uh, percentage of our acceleration deceleration and then our jerk units is going to be units per square seconds again merge we're just gonna put disabled speed merge we'll put program these are the default things you put in zero for the lock position and zero for the direction now this gets this everything set now we still need to put in a, a another feature here is I want to come back up to my toolbar I'm gonna to grab a bit grab a bit and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say that the pump MAJ is not an IP so there's several different uh, bits to the actual motion commands there's an enable there's a done there's an error and there's an IP the IP is the in progress so we don't want to keep commanding this to happen if it's already in progress so really simply and I'll just come in here and assemble that we we'll to have one more rung in here to control this and this rung in it in essence will basically basically be saying to shut this off so uh, we want to grab another rung here we want to grab another one right here or grab another uh, examine open we want to also come over here too and scroll back over and want to go to motion move and then we're going to come off and do a motion stop this is going to be our motion stop it's going to pick our axis this is the axis we're going to pick is axis one the motion control is a tag we're going to have we're going to call this pump pump one, pump one mas so motion axis stop the type of stop we're going to do all although we could just do jog but we're going to do all the deceleration if we want to change the deceleration rate which we don't the deceleration rate you have to even if you choose not to you have to put this in here anyway unit and then put all your units in here uh, do you want to change the deceleration for any of this no we don't you still have to put this stuff in here anyway um, and that's just filling out the data just to make sure so now we need to figure out when do we want to shut this off okay now if you talked about the premix on when we started and stopped the pump we want to have the batch active we want to be able to stop this right so we want to be able to stop it now we haven't had any current controls yet that we've added to give us a specific on off scenario which we're saying hey we want a hundred pounds of this this out of this specific tank to the actual premix or to the mixing tank um, when we have those controls to say we want this many that much that many pounds and we, when we achieve that many pounds we want to go ahead and stop what we can do is we can have that tied into here as far as done right or have this blocking where it actually turns this off so what we can do in that atmosphere is we can say axis one or the avo one is on or we can say pump request we'll probably do the pump request and we'll just do pump request so I think that's the best one we can do is pump request off and on and then that way we'll use this in the um, examine off state so that we have this is issued to a stop command as soon as it is stopped and this is the same atmosphere we can come over here and make sure in motion controls I like to I like to come in here and put this in here if it's already indicated that it's happened I don't want to keep indicating I don't want to keep forcing it to happen 
So I want to say if this process is complete or this enable has happened, if it's done, um, I like to say process complete again to make sure that it is complete, right? And now we have our con simple controls for this. So now we can tie this in and have this pump actually running, right? So now we can come back to our HMI and go to our HMI and we can highlight we can come over here and highlight this pump and change the color of the pump. Now I want to go in and control the color of this pump. So I'm going to come in, do the color of this pump. We'll just say the natural color is going to be uh, this right here and then green would be on. And then what we'll do is go into tags and we'll update our tags again. We're going to update our tags and then we're going to come in to our program and get our MAJ which is going to be let's get this right here let's pump right here MAJ and then we're going to get the MAJ IP that it is running and then turn that on and then let's test that so that's the way it would look right and then we can also give the speed too. <clears throat> so in this instance, so we'll actually give the speed as well. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why all of this disappeared for that matter, but uh, let's just see. We don't have anything in here. Okay, that's not a big deal. This is fine. And it's probably because this needs to come forward. Let's see. Let's just make sure. Bring forward. <clears throat> it may just be a glitch in the, the thing right now. But anyway, so we can have this in here just like this. So we show this as it's, if, it, if it, we actually start the system running right now. I just want to show this, this running. So if we actually go to start our premix, we do batch active, right? So now we're batch active. It's not going to run right now until we come over here and we turn on AVO3, which we haven't done the controls for yet. And then we're gonna come over here and now the pump is running. So now we have the pump running, we have fluid running through it and that shows that the pump is running. So now we have animation for our pump as well. So that's very much a positive thing to show, you know, how things are working, right? So again, I, and then you can come in and throw in speeds down here if you want to. You can come over here and throw in speeds. If you want to throw in the speed, we can come in and throw in a, a right here. We can say right here. We can open this up and say. at speed and then the variable insert numeric this is going to be two digits keep it real simple we're not going to have any decimals and we're going to do the maj again and then we're going to do the speed so let's do the excel let's see this is which bit do we want to get from here let's let's check this out Let's see this. Let's go to our motor controls and we want to get the speed command. So actually the better atmosphere for this would be to not do the MAJ, to do the standard axis. Let's do the standard axis. So let's do pump. And I believe it, it is pump right here. We'll get this and we'll get the actual velocity. So the actual velocity right here, add this in here and we'll change this to a nine and then we'll put that there and then we'll put at speed just like that and we'll come in here and do this. So now we come in here and we can say just like that, it's running at speed. So now it kind of looks awkward that the, the pump, um, pump one is not you know highlighted in a uh, like a, a deep bold, right? So we want to make sure we change that to a bold. 
let's just change this to a bold let's change I believe it's right here change this to a bold change this to a bold that way they they just they just stand out and they match everything all the other writing we did because as you see the aesthetics of things and the way things look I mean it really makes things pop it really makes things look really really good and I know we're going sort of fast but again when it comes down to it we've done all this building so far we should be pretty much verse in what we're doing right if you're not then please go back and watch the other videos because this is very much uh, easy to do right now from what we've built so far so now you can see pump pump run pump one at certain speed we can even move this over here and say pump one at speed right here just like this and have these just like this so pump one at speed of this right here so we can actually have this in one writing if we wanted to but again just to have that just like that really is it makes it look that much better right so to cut this back off just to verify our off controls work um, and again we don't have any controls for this so all we're doing is turning it off right so we'll toggle that off and we're going to come over here and you see okay so it did not shut off let's see why it didn't shut off and this is again why we test right and it's because the PC bit so we still need to okay so here's what we need to do instead of using the PC bit here we need to use the IP bit here and say is the IP running and then that way it will turn it off okay so now we'll go over here it is turned off now what we'll do is we'll start it back just to just to verify the testing of it and we'll start it back just to show you that that it works just to show you that it works okay so now it's in here it's actually running at a speed of 10 they have flow we have flow going in here so we're running everything and we're doing everything properly we're going to turn it off now okay we're going to turn it off and it did turn off so that just goes to show you that the due diligence behind testing and how things should be working so now we have this first motor control in here I'm going to go ahead and program the rest of the motor controls in here because again I want to keep these videos to the point and that way you don't see me doing repetitive stuff and that way you come in and you can see everything done as it's working and then we'll come back and go from there so we'll see you guys on the next one